idea to have a fixture table to bolt the flange down to for tacking. I got 3 8 spacers in here. That's pretty standard for pipe flange. So I'll take this 8 inch pipe, this schedule 40, and I'll put it on there and tack it in place. Hey, what's up guys? We are going to be welding a 304 stainless steel pipe to a 304 stainless steel pipe flange. <laughs> TIG welding. Walk in that cup. We're using a 308 filler rod, 532 in thickness. Now remember, you do not need really big tacks because you're going to have to weld over that and you don't want it to kind of get lumpy there. Okay, show you exactly what we got. We've moved our amperage up to 175. See there? Now here's a trick that will help you a lot in TIG welding. Walk in the cup. Hold the torch back here. You get more control from it. But get that temperature turned up where you can move faster. You know, make more consistent welds. I've got a 1.8 tungsten. That's 2% thoriated. Number eight cup. And I'm using about that much stick out. And you just get rolling with it, and it'll come out looking like that. That is exactly what you're trying to achieve in stainless TIG welding. Guys, the smoother you make this will be the smoother that cup walks over the top of it. so nicely. Notice a couple of little spots where the wind started blowing in. That's okay. Nothing is going to affect the weld. It's one of the things you got when you got wind coming through a bay door like that. You'll have a couple little... I hope this tutorial was informative and will help you with your welding. Please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It would be great to hear from you and have your feedback.